I need to find a job with a higher salary. I can't just remain a low-level employee at that bakery company. Yin lay on her bed, pondering her unfortunate fate. Three years ago, her father passed away, drastically altering Yin's life. Previously, Yin lived comfortably. Although not wealthy, her parents tried to provide for all the needs of their only child. Her father suffered a heart attack upon learning that the business he had built from scratch was facing significant losses. He passed away when Yin was in her fourth year of university. Her mother followed suit, experiencing kidney failure, which required her to undergo expensive dialysis treatments. This further worsened the family's finances and Yin had borrowed money from the bank several times for her mother's medical expenses. Yin reached for her phone. She wanted to call Hannah, her friend. A few seconds later, the call connected. Hello. Hi Yin. What's up? Do you have any job openings with a decent salary at your workplace? What's going on Yin? Are you looking to leave your current job? Aren't you happy there? No, I'm comfortable working there, and my colleagues are really nice. It's just that I need more money. You know, my salary there isn't high. Yin spoke softly, evoking sympathy from Hannah. She understood why her friend needed the money. I'm sorry Yin, there are no job openings here. There was a financial administration position available yesterday with a decent salary, but it's already been filled by someone else. Hannah said regretfully, feeling guilty for not being able to help her friend who was currently in need. Is that so? During her college years, Yin was one of the smartest students. She could easily grasp new concepts, was meticulous and communicated well. With her abilities, she could have worked at prestigious companies in Korea. But unfortunately, luck wasn't on her side. She lacked connections and often missed out on opportunities. Oh, yesterday I saw a job posting online. There's an opening at one of the media companies. It's a big company, Yin. I'm sure their employees have high salaries. They're in need of a secretary for the CEO. You should give it a try. A CEO secretary? Wow, that must come with a high salary. But can I do it? I've never worked as a secretary before and my experience is only as a low-level employee. Don't be pessimistic, Yin. I know you can do it. You're one of our professor's favorite students. Isn't Yin my friend who's always so optimistic? Hannah tried to encourage Yin to give it a try and not to be pessimistic. But, to be honest, I still have doubts, Hannah. Come on, the important thing is for you to apply first. Who knows, maybe luck will be on your side. For the sake of your mother and yourself, Yin, it's not the time for you to hesitate. Don't you have to earn money for your mother? Okay. I'll give it a try. Thank you Hannah, for encouraging me. Yin smiled and immediately ended the call. The next day, Yin arrived at the office of the giant media company in Korea. She was dressed formally and carried the necessary administrative documents. Yin shook her head in amazement upon reaching the company's building. Wow, this office is so majestic. Entering the lobby, Yin was increasingly impressed by the interior of the building. It seemed classy and elegant, yet comfortable. I hope I can get a job here. Let's do this, Yin. Fighting. Yin clenched her fists and quickly went through several stages of selection and interviews as directed by the office staff. Unexpectedly, Yin passed the test and was accepted as the CEO's secretary there. Yes, she was very grateful. After undergoing exhausting written tests, computer tests and interviews, she finally became a part of this giant company. All right, Miss Yin. You can start working tomorrow. Our CEO happens to want a replacement for his old secretary as soon as possible. There are some important things you need to consider before starting work tomorrow. Yin took out her notebook, listening carefully to the words of the HR representative. Firstly, our CEO does not tolerate tardiness with unclear reasons, so make sure you always arrive no later than 15 minutes before work starts. Secondly, our CEO likes fast and smart work, no sloppiness and no beating around the bush. So. Do what is instructed without wandering around. And thirdly, this is important, our CEO doesn't like it if women get too physically close to him. So make sure you keep your distance and only speak when necessary. Are you clear on this? Or do you have any questions? Hyson concluded with a formal smile. Yin was a bit confused about the third point, but Yin remained silent. She still didn't dare to ask further. The important thing was to obey all the rules here so she would be safe. Um, sorry, what's the name of our CEO? Yin asked hesitantly, and with a small voice. You applied here, but don't know the name of the CEO of this company? Hyson raised an eyebrow, surprised while continuing to look at her. Well, remember this well. Our CEO's name is Mr. Jian Jungkook. You must remember that. All right, I will remember his name well. In that case, you may leave. See you tomorrow. Welcome aboard. Yin shook hands with Hyson and hurried home. Are you home, sweetheart? How did it go? Thankfully, I got the job there, mom. 
Yin hugged her mother, whose body had become even thinner due to illness. Thank goodness. I believe in you, dear. I'm sorry you have to work so hard like this. Forgive me for not being able to help you. You don't need to worry about that, mom. What you need to focus on is your health. I want you to get better soon. I want you to be healthy. You're the only one I have in this world. Yin smiled reassuringly. Meanwhile, her mother tried to smile, although her heart was crying seeing her daughter have to work hard to support both of them. Yin, prepare the materials for the afternoon meeting immediately. Make sure nothing is missed. Yes, sir. Also, please make me another coffee. Yes, sir. I'll excuse myself then. Yin bowed her head before leaving the room. Three months had passed since Yin started working as Jungkook's secretary. Initially, she struggled to adapt to Jungkook's work rhythm, but due to her perseverance, she managed to overcome it, even though it was accompanied by various reprimands from her stern boss. Such a stern boss, can't he be a little friendly? Smiling seems to be a rare occurrence. Yin huffed slightly, feeling annoyed by her boss's cold demeanor. She grumbled inwardly, but her hands still prepared the coffee for him. Making coffee had become an additional task for Yin since a month ago, when she accidentally spilled Jungkook's coffee that had been prepared by the office boy. Feeling guilty, Yin eventually offered to remake the coffee for him, and since then, Jungkook has found Yin's coffee to his liking. It became her additional duty to always provide coffee for her CEO. Since then, when at the office, Jungkook has refused to have coffee made by anyone other than Yin. Quite extraordinary. You're really busy, Jungkook. Yes, I'm very busy, and unless it's urgent, you should leave. Jungkook said calmly, his eyes still focused on the computer screen in front of him. Minju is Jungkook's friend. Currently, he is visiting Jungkook's office, intending to invite his cold friend to lunch together. Wow, so you're kicking me out. I came all this way and you're telling me to leave? You're so cruel. Minju clutched his chest, dramatizing the situation. Jungkook sighed tiredly. His silly friend was so annoying. Okay, then why did you come here? I just wanted to invite you to lunch. It's been a while since we talked, and you have to agree this time. Fine. Wait for me a bit. Jungkook finally gave in. If left alone, his friend wouldn't stop babbling and would only make Jungkook more frustrated. By the way, are you still not interested in getting married? Jungkook lifted his face glaring at Minju sharply. Whoa. Don't get mad yet. You're the young CEO and the sole heir of your father's company. You're also old enough to get married. But so far, you haven't been seen close to any woman. Aren't you afraid of the speculations that might arise? What do you mean? What I mean is, by never getting close to a woman, many people might assume that you're not normal, or even gay. Don't jump to conclusions. I'm a normal guy, Minju. Jungkook squinted, offended by Minju's statement earlier. I know, but what about other people's perceptions? Your current situation could damage your reputation as a CEO. Shouldn't you present yourself perfectly in public, Jungkook, so that your company can continue to thrive and be trusted? Jungkook fell silent for a moment, pondering Minju's words, but his sharp eyes returned to his friend. What's really going on out there that I don't know? I'm sure you're saying this, pushing me to get married soon, because there's something. You never want to attend our friend's reunions, do you? You never want to gather with the excuse of always being busy. Actually, without your knowledge, there have been rumors circulating among our friends. What rumors have been spreading? Like I said earlier, it seems that many of our friends think you're gay. What? Are you serious? That's the gossip that's been going around, Jungkook. You wouldn't know because you never want to join when there's a reunion. Damn, how could I be accused of being gay? That's why this time I'm really advising you to get married soon. Are you crazy? Jungkook was surprised, finding his friend's suggestion utterly ridiculous. Listen, I'm not crazy, and this time I'm serious with you. Besides, getting married will make you appear perfect. People will think your life is happy, your career is successful, and your love life is smooth. Don't you want that? But you know my reason for not wanting to get married? I don't believe in love. My parents, who initially loved each other, eventually decided to divorce. Love is fake, Minju, and marrying without love is foolish. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in love. At least you have a friend to share with, someone to accompany you. I know you've been lonely all this time. Being foolish once in a while won't hurt, Jungkook. Besides, it's also for your image and your own reputation. Many of our friends are starting to suspect that you might be gay. The only way to shut them up is for you to get married. I'm still not sure. I'm also not close to any woman. It would be very strange if I suddenly asked one of my business associates to marry me. Both fell silent. They both seemed busy with their own thoughts, until finally. Ah, don't you have a very beautiful secretary? Minju exclaimed happily, as if he had come up with a brilliant idea, while Jungkook looked surprised to hear the suggestion from his friend. 
You mean Park Yin? Yes, that girl, you could marry her, she's your secretary, you two must already be close, even if it's just work related, so there's no need for further adaptation, what do you think? Yin, huh? She's quite pretty and attractive, and her coffee is really good too. Jungkook appeared to be thinking, considering what if Yin became his wife. However, even so, how would he make Yin agree to marry him? I'll think about it first. Good, I'll wait for good news from you. Tonight, once again, Yin had to stay overnight at the hospital. Her mother's condition suddenly worsened and had to be treated by the doctor. It seemed that her mother's kidney damage was getting worse. Even though she had undergone dialysis, her condition continued to weaken. She needed extra care to stay alive. Yin gazed at her mother's face now asleep. The aged face looked very tired because of her illness. Yin gently held her mother's hand, bringing it to her cheek and kissing it repeatedly, tears streaming down her face. She still couldn't bear the thought of her mother leaving forever. She wasn't ready to live alone in this world. Somehow, she had to raise a large sum of money to cure her mother. But what could she do? She couldn't borrow money from the bank anymore because they would reject her loan application. Her borrowing limit was already maxed out. She had also tried borrowing money from some friends. Now Yin had many debts with her friends, but still, the funds she held were not enough to cure her mother. Her head was almost bursting from thinking about her debts everywhere. But suddenly, what if I borrow money from the company? Is it allowed? It seems like that's the only place I can apply for a loan. Tomorrow, I'll try to talk to Mr. Jungkook. Right now, Jungkook is busy at his desk, his eyes sharp as they gaze at the laptop in front of him, while his hands occasionally check the files on the table. Suddenly, come in. Now, Yin slowly enters the room. Unlike her usual self, she walks slowly with her head down. She wants to request a loan from the company, as she had thought about last night. What is it, Yin? Jungkook asks Yin, his eyes still focused on the laptop screen. Sir, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Am I disturbing you? Jungkook furrows his brows upon hearing what she said. Now, his eyes truly shift to her, who is still standing in front of his desk. What's going on with this girl? Please, have a seat. And what do you want to discuss with me? With hesitation, Yin sits directly in front of his desk. Her fingers are extremely cold now, even trembling slightly. Her heartbeat is pounding. She is truly nervous in front of him. Sir, may I borrow money from the company? Currently, I need money to finance my mother's medical treatment. Jungkook remains silent for a moment, gazing at her deeply. This only makes her more nervous, and eventually, Yin lowers her head. She can't bring herself to look directly into his eyes. How much money do you need for your mother's treatment? And what illness does your mother have? My mother has kidney failure. She has been undergoing dialysis, but recently her condition has worsened. Actually, the amount of money I need is quite large. I've tried borrowing from the bank, but my loan limit has been maxed out. I'm confused about where else to apply for a loan. Hearing her story, Jungkook actually feels sympathy. It seems that her life has been quite difficult financially. She has even become the backbone to help cover her mother's medical expenses. But silently, his lips curl into a slight smile. It seems he has found a way to make Yin agree to become his wife. Hope this method can be considered by Yin because if you think about it, it would be beneficial for both parties. All right, I can help your mother cover all of your expenses and even provide the best treatment for her. I can also find a kidney donor so your mother can undergo a kidney transplant and regain her health. I will also pay off all your debts at the bank and elsewhere. You don't need to repay any of that, and you don't have to consider what I give you as a debt to be repaid. But there's one condition. Yin now looks confused and surprised by what her boss just said. What condition, sir? Jungkook still gazes deeply at the girl before him. Yin is now confused, of course, she is confused by everything she just heard. But eventually, Jungkook exhales softly before finally saying, The condition is, 